Croc Legend of the Gobos is a platformer released on the PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, PC, and Game Boy Color in 1997 by Fox Interactive and Argonaut Games. In the game, you play as a crocodile named, well, Croc. Did you know he got on a list for the top 10 most adorable protagonists in gaming back in 2019? Yup, that adorable. First, let's play The Legend of the Gabos on PS1. The game opens with this really adorable cutscene, introducing us to our adorable crocodile protagonist, Croc. Oh. One entire child development montage later, lore strikes, a crime is committed, then we are greeted with a banger of a video game theme song. But then disaster strikes. Oh god, tank controls. After a while, it gets less annoying and you learn to live with it. But it's still annoying every now and then. I was not expecting this game to have so much variety, but it does. Not only does it have the grassy fields, it has lava stages. And boy, does it have a lot of lava stages. It also has grass lava stages. Okay, I'll show you more variety. It has underwater segments. That's pretty cool. It has snow and ice levels. Desert levels. And even more lava levels. Okay, this game does not really have a lot of variety. Oh, hell no, but it does have boss battles. And these, these are fun. Then Croc commits murder. And we move on to the next game. Two years later in 1999, we get Croc 2. It starts with this little guy walking down the street until suddenly a cult, a crime is committed. Then we are greeted by a remix to the banger theme song. This time around, they finally mastered the movement and he no longer controls like a tank. Every now and then the camera tries to fight you, but it's not as problematic as the first game. Jumps are a lot more precise now and a lot better. This game has a lot more gimmicks in it, like this boat racing minigame, which is actually pretty fun. Not gonna lie, this would make a good multiplayer game. There's also this part where you roll on top of a snowball. It looks clunky, but it actually controls pretty well. There's also these minecart segments in some levels. They're alright. Level variety is pretty much the same as the first one, but it makes up for it with its improved art style. Colors are a lot more vibrant, environments have a lot more going on, water stages in particular have a lot more going on like pirate ships, and like I said before, the snow levels have this new gimmick with the snowball. I am really digging this art style. Also, his parents show up and then never show up again, yeah, that happens, and yeah, that's pretty much Croc 2. On the Game Boy Color side of things, it's a side-scrolling platformer. Controls-wise, he is very slippery, especially on slopes or when you're moving and using your tail attack at the same time. You will be constantly bumping into enemies on accident or falling into pits. I would not recommend this title for the controls alone, which is unfortunate because it's freaking crack. He's just all over the place and moves too quickly. I can't even make precise jumps and getting these boxes that are all over the place. It's just too much of a hassle. I unfortunately do not recommend this one. The first Croc game on Game Boy Color isn't too good, but Croc 2? It's a top-down platformer, and I know it does not share a lot of similarities with the first game, but I just gotta say, he controls a lot better here. He's a lot slower, which I think is a good change of pace, quite literally. There really isn't much to say about these games. They're not really complex by any means, but they're simple and very inoffensive. They are croc appetizers, if you catch my drift. Your best bet with the croc series is with the console games. Controls wise, the first one isn't all too good, but it's still a fun game once you get around some of the weirdness of them. Rock 2, big improvement, really fun game still. Handheld games, they're hit or miss. The second one is your best option though if you want to go down that route. There's also a Croc HD fan game remake that's being made by this guy named Croc is back. Croc is definitely back because not only is there a fan game, there's an official HD remake that is supposedly coming out eventually. And you know what? I even dabbled in making a Croc fan game. Here it is. So I decided to make my own fan game in under three weeks. Croc Legend of the Crocs. A game where you collect Crocs while playing as Croc in Croc Legend of the Crocs. It's very rough around the edges. It could use some more work. I might get around to it later on, though. But it works for what it's trying to be. Nothing too complex. You can download it now on my game jolt and the link in the description below. Also, a little fun fact about Croc. I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently Croc was originally supposed to be a Yoshi game. Interesting. I'm all crocked out. Stay old, turn sticker comedians. Music